I did not gamble, by the way. Um, I didn't gamble at all. Not even with Ludwig's money. I can't do it, man. I can't- I can't stomach the thought of losing money for no reason. Yeah. No gambling for me. Um... And then... Sunday, hair and makeup, went to the convention. Uh, we had our Alveus panel. Did you guys watch it? It was so sick. Um, everybody did so good. I was stressed at the Alveus meet and greet because I was worried that I was talking too much. Russell! I saw Russell once. I saw Russell once on Sunday. And he's like, oh, I haven't seen you. Did you just get here? Wow. Like, bitch, is the convention's over. What do you mean did I just get here? So... <laughs> I was worried at the meet and greet for Alveus because I thought I talked too much because um, people were, like, coming up to me. One of the best answers Kayla gave, which one is this about? Wow. Reaches that point, because every behavior that an animal gives us, they are trying to communicate something yes. to us. Yes. And that's what our job is, is identifying those individual behaviors that are going to lead to something else. What was and the question here? Was this the question where she was like, any animals that are resistant to your love? Maybe? How can we change our behavior? It's a conversation. That's what I always tell people. When you walk into a room with an animal, you're only ever going to provide half the information. The other half is going to come from that animal. Uh, so when we go in, it's hard to pay attention My to that sometimes was, What's your because name? I am watching an animal uh, to make sure that I am not overstepping. Um, and that's one of the things I think that's very hard about this job too is that I have to be incredibly self-critical on a daily basis. Uh, I have to have a lot of awareness with what I'm doing, even if you don't intend to have a training session with an animal, if you are around them, they are learning something from you. And that's important to remember. And that goes for any animal, not just these ones that we work with that are exotics. Your cats, your dogs, they're always trying to tell you something. So pay attention. Kayla is really good. I don't know if y'all have not noticed that yet, <laughs> but Kayla, I've said this from the beginning, Kayla is better at my job than I am by miles, naturally. She is so good at talking and explaining and teaching. Um, I just happen to be here and I'm also dumber and like maybe it makes me more relatable because I'm a streamer, but my God, when it comes to teaching people about animals, um, she is so eloquent. She, she's just amazing. She's so good at it. So yeah, um, but everybody on the panel was so good. Uh, everyone on the panel did so well. I think I was worried about that too. After the meet and greet, I was like, oh, like I don't want it to just be me talking. Um, not because they didn't talk, but because people at the meet and greet were like primarily talking to me. Um, and I was like, I really hope that they're not just asking me questions and that everyone's sitting there. Um, and that's not what happened at all. The, the, the talking on the panel was so even, like all the staff just did so great. Um, and they, they all did just really good. I think you talked the least good. <laughs> They're better at it than me. Um, yeah, so all the questions were really great. Um, all the answers were really great. I'm super proud of them. I think they felt really good about it. So, yeah, everyone got time to speak. I felt really, really good about the Alveus panel. And the group at the Alveus panel was super chill too. Um, they were good. Then I went back to the hotel because I had to change. I, I was wearing my boots and khakis and a collared Alveus shirt um, for the Alveus panel. And then Connor did really well with the politician lady. Connor, Connor's really good too. Connor's really good too. I know you guys see him being goofy most of the time, um, but Alveus is where it is because of all of our staff, but Connor is a huge, I mean, Connor knows what he's doing. He's very smart. Um, and he knows a lot of the, a lot of stuff about Alveus that I do not. He knows how to run a lot of stuff that I don't. Um, and he can speak to a lot that I cannot. Um, so he's, he's really good too. While we're at it, Lindsay's also excellent. Um, she's got a really, really, like, natural way of speaking that makes her feel very relatable. And I, I haven't pinned down exactly what it is yet. Um, that she's so good at, but when she talks, it feels like you're talking to somebody that, that, like, you know, or that is, like, that you can relate to. I don't know exactly what it is. I think she just has, like, really, she's very frank and she has a lot of humility. And it feels really genuine when she speaks. 
And um, so I was really impressed because that's the first time Lindsay's been like out there and super front facing and like really, you know, um, up there. Yeah, we got to get her on the staff page. I don't know why she's not up there yet because I don't have a, a bio for her right now. Um, and then Ella too. Ella gave some incredible answers up there that I was so impressed with because you guys know, like, I mean, you guys have seen Ella for years now. She's more on the quiet side in person. Um, but when she's up there, she can turn it on too. She had really, really great answers. She had answers that I wouldn't have thought about saying when we talked about fundraising. She brought up the wish list. I thought that was super clever. Um, and she speaks really eloquently. Um, she knows what she's talking about. Um, and you know, when she's addressed and she she's asked a question, like she's gonna answer it and answer it really well. So I think they all just did so good. I'm so proud of all of them. Um, and like proud of what the organization looked like as a whole up there. So yeah, that's everybody. They did great. I had to go change after the Wine About It panel because I went from khakis, collared shirt, boots to like a mini dress and a leather jacket and black heels because I went from the Alveus panel in the in the stadium to a few hours later, the Wine About It panel. And uh, I was talking to World Wildlife Fund at the end of the Alveus panel, because they they came and that was really cool. Um, and I've done a lot of work with them. So, so we were talking about them or talking with them. And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna come to your second panel too. And I was like, mm, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I was like, no, like, it was so nice that you came to this one. Thank you so much. Like, don't take any more of your time. Like, go do something fun. And she was like, no, I, I know wine about it. I've, I've listened to it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, great. Um, so World Wildlife Fund came to the Wine About It panel. Um, and I, I changed. I went in there. The interpreter or the, the sign language, um, the ASL person that we had, and the staff did not recognize me. She like came up and introduced herself and she's like, I'm gonna be your interpreter today. And I was like, girl, I just met you. <laughs> I was like, I was just in here like an hour ago. Um, I was the one in the in the khakis and she was like, oh, you're right, you are. Um, but yeah, it was just a very different vibe. Um, a very, very different vibe. Um, the Wine About It panel was also a very different vibe in the audience, um, the Alveus panel was like smaller and uh, way more chill, way more mellow, uh, way more professional. And then the Wine About It panel was insane. Insane. I, uh, I had to pee before the panel started. And there was a line wrapped around the building. Um, like, I think for the Alveus panel, it was like... I'm so bad. I'm I'm so bad at estimating people. I can't. I don't know. The crowd the crowd for wine about it was this big. Can you see? It was this big? That's all of them? And it goes like all the way to the back of the room. The Alveus panel, the first I don't know how to describe how many people were there. Rotate your phone. Oh. Sorry, I always have it locked. I hate when my screen rotates. Okay, so this was the Wine About It panel. The Alveus panel, these first two sections, they're like little like rectangular sections, they were really sparse. Like they were barely filled up. And so there were like tens of people at the Alveus panel. Um, and this was like a lot. One fifth at most. I don't think it was a fifth. I think it was like, I, don't, I feel like it was like a tenth. I don't know. Um, so 50, 60 people. Cool. <laughs> uh, there were 10,000 people watching the Alveus panel though, but I think it's cause it must, it was on like front page. Um, or th they put it on front page, uh, like the actual hero slot in the carousel. Um, but that's really cool. There were 10 K people on that one. It was sick. Uh, for the wine about a panel, there were just way more people. And when I, I had to pee before the panel started. And so I had to leave the building. Pluto took me out of the building and I like walked past the line of people. And they were like, it was just, it was so different than like the people at Alveus. Cause they were like, eh, my aunt, like, like, like taking pictures and stuff. Um, and 
And then I had to go back in and I was locked wow. out. I was locked out of the the door that I left to go pee from. And it was in front of the whole line. They're like seeing me trying to open this door. I call cutie, she doesn't pick up. So then I had to go around and I had to walk past the whole line to go into the front door where they were gonna enter. Um, and they're all just like, oh yeah, it's Maya. And I was like, you guys, like I was here an hour ago. <laughs> like, I was literally just here. Like it's the same person, I don't get it. It's just so different. Um, but yeah, so I, I went in, we did the Wine About It panel. It was good. The Wine About It panel was good. Um, the, the questions were good. Some of the questions were funny. Um, it was, it was chill. It was easy. The beginning of it was like a little rough because we had no idea what to do. Like we just did not know how to start, um, the panel, but it was fine. The biggest it question? Yeah, it was crazy. It's a crazy question to ask. What was the drama was sitting on the table? The Alveus panel, we did like a press conference. And so we were like sitting behind the, um, behind the table with our mics. I just got like weirdly nauseous. I'm gonna open this window. Oh! It rained this morning. Let's let in all that humidity, shall we? Is that a rat? You know what's annoying? My my biggest ick about Mushroom? He has kibble and he could eat a whole piece of kibble, but instead he takes a piece and he moves his head out and he crunches it on the floor and whatever he spills, he just leaves on the floor. And then he refuses to eat the crunchies that he's spilled. He only eats whole pellets. So I'm constantly having to clean crunchies and I'm telling you, it's like half of what I feed him. And I've tried putting them back in there and he won't eat them after they've been crunched. He's wasteful.